Okay, so you guys probably have no idea who I am. Actually, when I'm putting this out, or whenever this sees the light of day, you probably all know who I am. But right now, I'm just a nobody, or I was just a nobody. But tomorrow, I'm going to be announced as the manager of the England national football team. Yeah, I still can't believe it myself. It's crazy. I pinched myself, thought I must be dreaming. But from being a simple... I'm not even sure what my job was at the England National Headquarters. I just made sure the right people got into the building, the wrong people didn't. But from that, I got called up to the head office today, to the big wigs, who had seen some videos I'd done on the internet about the England National Team, and they, well, I thought they weren't going to be happy. Basically, I said the England management didn't know what they were doing. They were ruining the game, the national game, for all the English fans. And they've called me up. I thought, this is it. I'm getting fired. I've got to explain this all to my wife. But instead, they go, let's see if you can do any better. That's right. They've given me the England national job with a £69,000 a year wage, which is a big pay rise. So I'm happy about that. But now I've got the weight of the nation on my shoulders. I've got Switzerland and Slovenia just around the corner to prepare for. I've got to pick the squad I've got to pick the tactics and I've got to go and get some results to make sure we're in the European Championships and I've got to build to the future because that's what I said anyone should be able to do and now it's my job to do it. So yeah, I'm really happy but I'm shocked and I now feel under a lot of pressure. But I'm going to do these videos so I have something to fall back on so if this goes all terribly wrong at least I've got something to sell to the tabloids which can make me some money and secure the future of my family. But hopefully, who knows? Maybe a nobody could win the European Championships or even the World Cup. What's up guys, JNO here and welcome to JNO United. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and remember, it's all about the game. Okay guys, so I hope you liked that intro. It's something a little bit different that I'm going to try along with this series. I am going to be the England manager for this FM save because with it being England that I'm managing, there won't be so many games in the season. So I feel like I can progress with this story quickly despite the fact that I can't always commit loads of time to this series because of my other commitments on this channel. Now, in the future, maybe when I've got more time to do videos, then potentially I could do other Football Manager saves. But anyway, back to the game. As you can see, we are about to kick off with the game against Switzerland. This is the first game I am having as England manager, so we need to get off to a good start. But we are away, we are in Switzerland, and they are probably the toughest team in our group. They're the team right behind us, five points behind us. So if they beat us, they're only two points behind us. And they're going to be trying to take that first spot place off of us. Now the lineup I've gone with and the team selection I've gone with is Wayne Rooney up top. We're giving him a chance to prove himself. I'm personally one to believe that we should go with other people because Wayne Rooney hasn't been performing. But I'm going to give him a chance. And if he performs really well as my man at the top of a 4-3-3, then we're going to have to keep him, of course. But we also have Adam Lallana and Raheem Sterling backing them up. Sterling isn't my favourite person in real life, but he's a talented footballer who could have the football world at his feet if he keeps improving. So we're going to hopefully nurture him into a fantastic player. We have Ross Barkley and James Ward-Prowse as the two centre midfielders. Now, I had Ray Lewington suggest the uh, squad to me because I didn't want to take a pick too early on in my tenure as England manager. I thought the people that have been here before me are probably best placed to pick this first squad. So I went with him and we're going with James Ward-Prowse on what I may believe is his debut but I could be wrong. Hopefully he can prove to be a great call up for us and maybe even secure himself a place in the European Championships. We look into the future. Yes, we want to win the European Championships, but we also want to look to the future and build an amazing England side. We have Gareth Barry at halfback. It was Eric Dyer, but Eric Dyer got injured 
four days before this game, so we had to call up a replacement. Gareth Barry was the best replacement we could find on short notice. Then we've got Cresswell, who's been in amazing form this season so far. He got a call up. He was suggested by Ray Lewington to be called up because of his form. And we've got Nathaniel Klein. Luke Shaw is unfortunately injured for a short period of time. And then we've got John Stones and Phil Jagielka, that Everton link up in defence. Hopefully they can work well together. Hopefully we can pick up our first win as England manager and keep our job. Because remember, I don't have any managerial experience at the moment. So all eyes are on me from the press. And let's kick off this game. As you've probably noticed, I've changed my skin again. I noticed that the skin was starting to make my game lag quite a bit. So I took that off. But we have the ball. I think this is just to kick off highlight so I'm not going to commentate on this hopefully nothing happens and I have to leave that in okay this is some nice play though we're passing the ball around quickly and Sterling's at the back post and it's 1-0 and I'm going to have to leave I'm not going to commentate and all that jazz in there because we have gone and scored a goal let's have a look at this great cross by Klein Sterling is there at the back post with the volley easy finish great start to life as England manager fantastic start from now on, JNO, commentate on everything because something could always happen. So we now have Switzerland on the ball, put some pressure on lads, straight cross to the back, and they've scored pretty much a like for like goal against us. They crossed it to the far post, and Memedy was there to tuck it away, so it's one all. One all draw isn't too bad for us, but the fact that we conceded in under eight minutes is not good but as you can see straight cross to the back post the defense was all over the place no one followed the man okay we've got Barry on the ball to Barkley into Sterling Sterling's through hits it straight at the keeper and then hits it wide no apparently there was a block on that I was about to have a go at Sterling there but Ward Prowse now with the cross is it to Lalana? no Inla wins it at the back post Rooney comes back to pick the ball up Inside to Barkley. Can Barkley put it out to Rooney? Yes, he can. And Rooney, I don't know what Rooney does there, but that really doesn't help us. Okay, so it is half time and it ends up one all at half time. Unfortunately, we couldn't take control of the game after that early goal. Let's have a look if anyone's underperforming. We have a 6.6 .6 rating and a 6.5 with Phil Jagielka. So, you know what? We'll take Jagielka off, bring on Smalling. See if that younger partnership works better together. Fitness wise, everyone looks okay. Don't really have anyone to take Gareth Barry's place. We're expected to win and the fans will be expecting the same. Gonna be assertive with that suggestion. And then let's praise Sterling and also Barkley because they, they're doing quite well for her. Let's kick things off in the second half. Hopefully we can improve on our performance so far. Okay, so Lichasana with another cross, Hart with a great save. We really need to start like stopping Lichtenstein and getting those crosses in. Their fullbacks are hurting us. Alright, come on boys, we need better than this. I expected better than this to be honest. Ross Barkley's just been given the yellow, so that's three players on the yellow. I think it's time to make a substitution. Problem is Barkley's doing well for us, so I don't really want to take him off. We'll take off Wayne Rooney. Well, let's give Harry Kane a go up front. Jamie Vardy can have a go at right mid. Not that I really consider playing Jamie Vardy at right mid regularly. If he's going to get into the side, I really want him as that man up top. But we've made those substitutions. Hopefully, they're positive substitutions for us. Okay, 70 minutes in, nothing has changed. Do we go for the win or do we be happy? We're away. We're happy with the draw as we're away. Hopefully Sommer doesn't do a good clearance. He doesn't. It drops the Barry. Cresswell straight away to Kane. No, nope, can't get the ball there. All right, so it's Ward Prowse resetting the play. Barkley to Sterling. Sterling finds Cresswell in acres of space. Get a good cross in. Vardy at the back post. Vardy again. Vardy with the goal. Great substitution. Vardy banging them in still, even in this. Chat shit, get banged. Great goal by Vardy there. He didn't get it on the first attempt if we watched a replay. Cresswell with another great cross. Blocked the first time, but then Vardy with what looks like a volley on his left foot. Bangs it into the goal. The Switzerland keeper didn't know what happened. We are 2-1 up. Let's get the victory, boys. All right, we're going to change the structure now. 
standard and structured. Keep things solid. Let's not do anything stupid and lose this game. Alright, so Klein now has the throw in to Barry. Gareth Barry back to Chris Smallin. Smallin to Barkley to Prowse to Creswell. Creswell had just having acres of space on that left. John Stones, we know how he likes to play with the ball. Creswell into Barkley, who finds a through ball to Sterling. Can Sterling get the cross in? No, he shoots, you greedy. Right, so it's Ricardo Rodriguez. Memedy, is this a counter-attack? No, Barkley wins the ball, back out to Sterling. Find Kane, find the ball to Ward-Prowse. Ward-Prowse with a debut goal? Nope, but Sterling gets a rebound. It's 3-1. We are taking three points away from Switzerland. We are pretty much guaranteeing our qualification for the European Championships. And some of the young guns, especially Raheem Sterling, are performing today. Harry Kane finds Prowse. Prowse can't beat Sommer, but Sterling is there to pick up the pieces. Fantastic goal. Fantastic quick attack. We're starting to take this game by the scruff of the neck right at the end and show Switzerland who's boss. And that's it, full time, it's all over. England pick up their first win under J Knight. 3-1 at Switzerland, great performance with the man of the match going to Raheem Sterling with an 8.9, but shout out to Ross Barkley with an 8.4 and Ward Prowse with an 8.2, as well as Klein with an eight. So definitely some great performances by the boys. Vardy came on, got himself a goal as well. Raheem Sterling with two though. Prowse, Cresswell and Klein all with assists. So great performance by the boys. I think we can be pleased with that. Very nice victory, well done. We look at the other results in our group. Slovenia got a 4-0 victory against San Marino, which is to be expected. And Estonia versus Lithuania, it's ended 0-0. So if we have a look at our actual group, we can see that we are on 21 points. Switzerland and Slovenia both on 13. So we're gonna have to really mess up to be caught up. Sally, can you get me a uh, another glass of wine? All right, just pass the bottle. All right, there yeah, you can go now, thank you. Okay, so first game, this is the night after we managed to pick up our 3-1 victory over Switzerland. I'll be honest, I've never been to Switzerland. It's a lovely country, absolutely love it here but I couldn't really enjoy it until earlier today after the game, the day after the game, because the stress leading up to this first game, it was just unbearable. I've drunk so much more than I have ever drunk before because the pressure of being England boss is just amazing. Like the press have been non-stop on my case. I've seen stories after stories about me that, Half of them aren't true. Half of them probably are. But still, they've dragged up every single bit of dirt on me they could ever find. And then the questions. Why didn't you call up Oxlad chamberlain Why are you making the same mistakes as previous managers and still picking Wayne Rooney? Why are you not picking the first team? Why are you letting your assistant do it? Why is your team so young? Sorry, let me pour this bottle. Not pour this bottle, let me pour this glass. The relief, though, when I did not lose that first game was just amazing. There's pictures of me all over the internet celebrating like I'd scored a goals myself because I was just relieved. Raheem Sterling really performed for me yesterday. It was an incredible performance from the young lad. He's showing why so many people think he could have a great future as a player. I couldn't have asked for more from him. All my two centre mids, Ross Barkley and James Will Prowse, really put a performance in, as did my fullbacks. Now there are some weak performances. Wayne Rooney, I gave you a chance. I really want to believe that you're still the player that you were four, five, six years ago. But 
compared to some of the younger guys, he really didn't put in the work. And as soon as I changed you out and brought in Harry Kane, the performance seemed to work so much better. Jamie Vardy is also around knocking on the door. So why should I keep playing Wayne Rooney when these two players, Harry Kane and Jamie Vardy, are setting the world alight? Aaron Cresswell was a great surprise. I know he's a great left back, but I wasn't sure if he could do it for England, but he proved he could. Everything is looking good going into the game against Slovenia. They are the other team that are chasing us at the moment. So hopefully we can pick up a win. Getting on the plane tomorrow morning. Heading back to England. My first game at Wembley as manager of England. It's going to be a great occasion. But I'm sure the stress is just going to continue. I've always watched from home and thought, God damn these people are getting paid so much money. All they've got to do is pick a team every month or two. And that's about it. But there's so much more work that goes into it. But I'm just glad that the first game wasn't a disaster. And now maybe the press will uh, lay off me just a little bit. Anyway, I better get some sleep. Think of my tactics for Slovenia. 